Good morning, Mariloma. Today's date is Friday, April 26, 2013. I'm Emily Cotter, and this is Video Bulletin number 14. Mariloma held its annual Sportsorama event on April 12th. Here's a quick recap of the event. Now that the SAR season is over, elections for ASB, Supreme Court, and class positions are coming up. Voting for ASB and Supreme Court candidates are now over. Results for the new ASB officers and members of Supreme Court will be released today after school. Class elections will take place in the quad next week during May 1st and May 2nd, so be sure to vote for your candidates for next year. Star testing has begun and will take place again next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For the complete star testing schedule, visit the main office. Remember, students who improve their scores from last year's star testing will receive a free t-shirt, so be sure to ace those tests. To end the show, here's a teacher interview with the beautiful Miss Jax. Have a great day, Miraloma. Good morning, Miraloma. This is teacher interview, whatever. It doesn't matter. So we're here with the lovely Miss Jax today, and um, yeah, let's get started. So um, what do you teach here, and how long have you been teaching here? Uh, I teach honors biology and passport, and uh, this is my ninth year at Miraloma High School. Finishing wow. my ninth year. So what's your favorite teacher moment, sister? Uh, my favorite teacher moment? Sister. Every day is a teachable moment. Uh, but uh, one of the funniest things that ever happened to me is my first year. I, you know, was trying to be experimental and really develop myself as a teacher. And I thought, we're going to do food webs. And so I passed out balls of yarn to the kids. Oh and each kid got um, a card that said what animal or plant that they were. And they were supposed to toss a string, toss the ball to the prey that they were going to consume or whatever. And I thought, oh, we'd have this amazing food web. What ended up happening was like yarn got wrapped around kids' heads. Oh Lord. <laughs> Why did you start teaching? Um, honestly, my sophomore year in high school, I had a really amazing biology teacher that um, got me interested in science and you know made me feel like I knew something and sparked my interest. So Okay, so how is um managing manage that? And is it something that will be back next year? Yes, it will be back next year, and I'm hoping, this was sort of, uh, I think this year went well, but I mean, there are definitely some things that I learned, you know, over the year, I think we all did. But next year, I think it will be a lot smoother, and uh, get everybody on track, and uh, you seniors will be gone, so I won't have to deal with <laughs> your paperwork anymore. It's fantastic, and um, I'm really looking forward to next year. That's good. So, why did you even decide to be the coordinator for that? Well, I think community service is such an important part of what we do here at Mariloma. And I think that it's not only because it's service, you know, to the community and, um, you know, teaching kids to offer their talents, you know, to the outside community, but the things that kids learn from community service is so deep and so life-changing that I really want to be a part of that. I like that we're going and building technology, I guess. No, I don't. I hate it. What? Oh, wait. No breakfast club and no technology? So no, it's just know manage that. back. Like, manage back is so... You don't understand. I'm, like, dealing with all... <sighs> is this an anti-manage back commercial? Is this what I'm talking no, about right now? No, no, it's not, like... Just... So, Ms. Jack, what's your educational background? Well, I got my biology degree, uh, my bachelor's in biology, and then I went back... Then I started teaching. I got my teaching credential. And then I went back to school um, to get my master's degree in 2007. And I finished in 2009 with a master's degree in educational technology. So I'm really excited about that. It's a real developing field. 
And so I like to be involved in all things tech here at Maryland. Do you guys want some like, sibling secret handshake? We don't have that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So, I've been going to school with you for, this is my fourth year now, and... Yeah, you started your second semester of freshman year. Here. Yes, and that's been a weird experience. Yes. Like, how do we Good deal and weird. with that? How do we deal with that? I think we really had to deal with it as a cane, you know? Yeah. We really had to have conversations about what happens at home, and not bringing our issues at home to school, yeah. right? And trying not to... Me trying not to be so hard on you when things happen at school. And trying to safeguard my reputation as an educator with you coming to this high school. It's been difficult. <laughs> I'm sure because I ruined that reputation for you. Well, you know, it's quite embarrassing. So. One time I was babysitting Tanner and uh, <laughs> I fell asleep. So I used to work graveyard shift and go to college at the same time. Uh, I fell asleep and I uh, woke up and he was drinking a bottle of nail polish oh, remover. Oh, Tanner, what are you doing? I was two. Yeah, okay. he was two years old. Uh, he survived. Okay. Um, the effects um, are clear. Uh, Long-term effects of acetone on brain tissue are degrading. Did you go to the poison control center? I did call 911 and the uh, ambulance did come. How did you open it? Like, did you leave it open? Were you irresponsible no. and left it open? It was his mom's. It was not mine. Okay, good. Uh, he was he was a bright two-year-old, and he was able to open it. After drinking the acetone. Okay, good job, Tanner. Good job. Try to clear yourself. <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Okay, I think that's it for today. So thank you, Miss Jax, for thank this you. lovely interview. Don't do that. And I'm gonna miss you both. <laughs> good luck to you. Wait, let's try that again. What? Um, I was weird. Ew, because you're going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize what was going on. <laughs> I mean, that's the acetone. It's the acetone. <laughs> it's the acetone after all these years. Okay, we'll just use that. Okay, <laughs> bye! bye. bye. bye.